Writing your component UI tests in Jest can feel a little bit like stabbing at your components with a blindfold on. What if I told you that you could write all of your tests in Storybook without a single test file? I know, I know, component tests without tests, it sounds way too good to be true. So let's get into it. If you're using Storybook to develop and document your components, you shouldn't also have to keep a separate test suite in Jest or Cypress. You should be able to get free tests for all of the cases that you have in Stories. In this video, we'll use Storybook Test Runner to turn all of our stories into Jest test. Yes, every single one of them, and it'll only take two lines. Let's hop into the code. Run yarn add dev at Storybook Test Runner. Open your package JSON and jump to scripts and add a script test storybook. Then just run your new script, yarn test storybook. We get an error and that's because we need to run storybook. So let's run storybook in one process and then run the test runner in another. Run yarn storybook to get that started again and then add a new terminal where we can run yarn test storybook. And with just those two lines, we have smoke tests for all of our components. Let's use testing library in Jest to turn these into proper component tests. Kill our storybook process again with control C, add the package at storybook Jest to the project and kick off storybook again. Let's add an expectation to our button component, import within from storybook testing library, import expect from storybook Jest, then create a new play function on our primary story. Capture the canvas element, create a queryable canvas with testing library, query that canvas for the primary button button, and create a jest expectation. Expect primary button dot inner text to be. Let's leave this empty string for now. Notice that our storybook updated with an error in the interactions pane. Expect button to be empty string. We expected empty string and got button instead. So let's fix this test and make it pass. As someone who works on components visually, it can be so nice to have all of this information inside of the browser. Storybook is really giving us a GUI for testing library in Jest, which is awesome. Let's add a second test that validates this button background color style. We'll expect primary button to have style background color blue. Of course, this button doesn't use just a generic blue, it has a very specific color of blue, which we can grab from our button CSS. Update our test, and both pass. Let's take this one step further by adding component test to a story with interactions. Open page stories, copy this logged in story with the interactive play functions, and create a new test for the sign up button changing both the name of the story and the name of this button. Jump to the new sign up story in Storybook and see that our play function played this interaction on top of logged out to get into this logged in welcome Jane Doe state. Now let's add an expectation about this state. Await, expect from Storybook Jest, canvas.getByText, Jane Doe. Now I wanna see this fail first, so I'll put the wrong test in. We see that our expectation does not meet the reality, but fixing it makes this test pass. Of course, we get this immediate feedback in the browser, but we can still run them as part of our test suite. I'll use the verbose flag to see that we're using smoke tests as well as play tests. So that's how you add component tests to Storybook with no test code. If you'd like to learn more about component testing in Storybook with play functions, check out this video right here. Big thanks to Chromatic for sponsoring this video. If you have questions or comments, leave them in the comments below or join our Discord where we have a channel fully devoted to testing inside of Storybook. I'm Chantastic, I'll see you in the next one, bye.